Okay, so in this tutorial, what we're going to do is look at how to create an animated GIF uh, using the Screen to GIF tool. And we're going to import a video. In the previous one, we looked at how to record from the screen. So this one, we're going to import a video. Uh, so all you have to do is go into Load. All right, so I loaded up the video here. And you can see I've got some options. We're not going to go through all of this, but I can crop it. So this is the starting screen, the ending screen. So if you don't want to import everything, if it's a long video, uh, for example, I can just drag this through here. Maybe I just want a certain certain part of the video, right? So we'll actually do that. Let's take it from here. And then I don't need the entire video. So we're just going to take a small clip. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. What that's going to do is it's going to import the video frames, which you can see it's doing right here. So I selected my starting and my ending spot. I don't have to import the entire video, which is a key point if you're um, with working with a really large video. So you just want a small part of that video. So the videos are going to be brought, the video frames are going to be brought in here. So now I've got these video frames. Kind of as a bonus tip, if you wanted to, if you go to Save As, uh, you can uh, save out these images here uh, by frame. So it's a good way to pull frames from videos if you need to. We're not going to do that, but just a bonus tip. So we're going to do is just like find our section of video that we want. So I'm just going to take this uh, part right here. It doesn't have to be perfect for the demo. So we're just going to go ahead and select what we want to take out. Let's take that out. And I'm just going to scroll over to the back end and we'll take all these other frames out that we don't want. All right, let's go ahead and hit delete. And uh, once you do that, now you've got the frames. And at that point, it's just a matter of uh, figuring out how you want it to loop uh, and then working with your file size and all of that. So you can see it's bringing in the video at um, the video's um, resolution. So if you want to make the images smaller or larger, you can resize them here. Uh, there's some ways you can crop it and do some other things. So you can play around with the tool. If you want to, if you have like, let's play this back. If you feel it's not looping right, or in this case, we don't want this here. Like I can make a smaller video by just taking a few clips here. We're going to delete these. And let's go ahead and delete these. Right, and so um, we can play this back. I've got a little video and that actually looks okay. If I want to make it a little smoother, I can come over here to um, edit and let's do yo-yo. And you can see I have five clips, five video frames here. If I go to yo-yo, what it's going to do is kind of, kind of go back and forth. So it kind of goes in and out. And so it's a little smoother looking uh, for the video. So uh, if you're doing a loop that way, it's an, it's an easier way to do the loop. And it's with the video or with these animated GIFs, it's just a, a matter of trying to figure out uh, what size you want the image to be and then playing around with how many frames you have and how much information is changing on the frames. The less information that has to change, the smaller the file size is going to be. So uh, the actual image size and then the color information on the image is going to change that and how many, however many frames uh, you have. So it's just a matter of playing around and figuring out uh, the right balance between those things. Hopefully that helps and then you can uh, make some really cool videos or animated GIFs from the videos. Well, the one last thing I guess I should put in here is if you're done, go to File, Save As, and then select GIF. And then um, when you go to save it, we'll actually let's just save it and see what happens. I did this in the other video, but just in case you didn't see that one. So let's go ahead and hit Save. And you can see it's going to process that. So this video or this animated GIF ends up being about 406 kilobytes. Um, so I always try to stay about 1.5 kilobytes at the uh, megabytes at the largest. Um, the larger the file size, uh, the longer it's going to take to download. If you're on a mobile device, you know that can have an impact. And then um, it also takes a while for it to load up and start playing. So the smaller the file size, the better the experience is going to be. So finding that balance between image quality and file file size is something you have to play around with.